else. So now we've only got one left. Which is right over here. And we'll get him to hit this one. Okay. Welcome to Wasteland Survival. In this episode today, I am going to show you how to defeat the derelict factory with nothing more than using 20 ropes, 20 planks, and 12 glue. And to do that, you essentially need to craft yourself four wooden bows. Now that you have the four wooden bows, I have the pistol with me, but I'll just, I won't use it. Um, now that you got all the four wooden bows, you can then head out to the derelict factory. So to get through the gate, you gotta start the truck up. We'll smash the gate down for you. And your two buddies here, you pretty much just wanna let them go to work on these guys. One thing I do end up doing is I activate the needler here to chase me down, run it into the fray, and hope that it starts to attack somebody else, which this particular time it hasn't done just yet. Now it has, and now I can stand back and just start taking out some of the other zombies. And I'll let them take out the Needler. So, so that way I just don't have to worry about it later. And you just kind of let them take care of as many people as they want. And you can just kind of go after other individuals here. Oh, I shouldn't have activated that batter. If you stand back far enough, you can take each one out with a bow shot and you don't take any damage. So much like this roamer, you just get within range and then you take them out. Now, when you have a, a whole group behind the wall here, this is where you utilize your dog. You get him into combat and he can just take these out. For whatever reason, they don't attack the dog, so that's great. So he rarely takes any damage. The only attack he'll receive is from the batters after he hits the batter. So there he goes, takes all of those guys down. You can take him out of combat again and you got free access to this chest without even having to use a single bow. So we've cleared that room. Now your two buddies here would have would have died. Here's where I like to get my dog back involved here and just let him help out while I clear out some of the zombies from afar. So I wasted a couple shots there because my dog ended up killing them instead, so we'll just let the dog take out some bunch of people for us. You don't necessarily have to, There's, there is enough shots in the bow to take them all down without this, but it just makes it a little bit easier on you for the dog to uh, to help you out. Now I keep a couple bones with me, just, to, just in case he gets a little bit lower on health and his... Uh, mood gets too low to help you out but right now he's sitting pretty good so we'll run over to this side and we'll just start to uh, take them out get uh, Brutus back in the fight here we got another lovely clan of zombies sitting there that he can take out for us I targeted the wrong guy another wasted shot not being too careful with my shots here and he'll just kill everybody behind the wooden wall. And now, again, you have no contest, and you can just come in here and take everything in the chest. So 
So now we'll just take the batter out before he even moves. No aggro. Take very little damage by doing this. And you always want to make sure you are shooting a full powered shot with your bow so that way you get the most amount of damage off. And then usually everybody in here, apart from the floater and the butcher, will be... Oh, and then the earth shakers will be a one shot kill. So the roamers are okay to activate their aggro because they'll never get to you in time before you get your shot off. But the batters, they uh, they move a little bit quicker than the other guys. so. They will definitely come and get you a good, good couple hits on the uh, with their bat if uh, if you don't get them in one shot. Now we don't have too many guys left. We'll run over to uh, the floater and we'll take the floater down next. We'll just take care of the two roamers on the way. And now we are on to the floater who consumes the most of the bows. So essentially you just want to get him activated on you, run close to him, get out of his circle, and then you take two shots, and then you wait for him to do his uh, spitting attack again. You will not have enough time to get a third shot through, so you can only do two at a time. Eventually, as you go, you will get him down and kill him. Now he can't hit you, he's stuck within that little area for whatever reason, that's where they put him. So he can't come out here, he can't hit you, so you just take him out from afar like this. Now each bow has about 1600 worth of damage if you're getting 81 damage per shot so this will consume about one and a quarter bows just uh, sitting here and taking him out but for the amount of experience points that he's going to give you it's it's worth taking him down if you want to, to to complete the derelict factory you can completely skip this guy as well you don't have to kill him uh, but when it's this easy you might as well. If you do plan on skipping the, the floater, you probably can clear this entire thing in um, with only three bows. So he'll be dead here shortly. Just as easy as that, the floater is destroyed. And for 2,500 experience points, it's definitely worth it. Especially when you start getting into the later levels and it makes it uh, much harder. It takes a lot more time and experience to actually level up. So now we'll just run over to the other side. And we will just take out these zombies over here. There's only a couple of them. And we'll go and get whatever's in this chest. Okay, so there's one more room to clear, before, essentially room, it's caged in area to clear before we go and fight the butcher. We'll just take this, all these guys out, one at a time. That was a, a ricocheted shot. Sometimes your bows don't get uh, the full damage off. So that's when I'll just use the, the dog to come in and, and help out with the kill. And he can go and finish off the earth shaker while we go and collect what's in the, uh, 
the chest over here are suitcases. Bag is full. Well, good thing we can just throw our bow over here and we can pick up that spring and we can get rid of the empty water bottle because we have lots of those. And now we're on to the butcher. Which, when you first fight him, is a very intimidating target, especially in the Derelict Factory because it's the first time you'll see him. But there's actually a very easy way to kill him here. Oh, I need to get my dog out of combat. So essentially these barrels here you want to take and use them to your advantage. So you just want to kind of walk him close to them. When he does his charge attack, have him run through the barrels. And he takes massive explosion and fire damage. And you will see that he started at 4000 health. And after two barrels he is already halfway down. So you just get him to crash into another one. And you can see the damage that it's doing right there. So now you just got to get him to hit the last two, and he should be down to about 400 health by the time um, he's destroyed all the barrels. So now we've only got one left, which is right over here, and we'll get him to hit this one. Okay. So now, there's a spot that you can get the butcher stuck. So you want to lead him up over here. Then you want to run in between all the posts. And you want him to charge down into this lower corner there. And then he gets stuck. At least he should have gotten stuck. I didn't get him deep enough. We can try that again. Cause, oh, I got way too close. And I didn't get him stuck enough there. So we'll just get a shot off. So essentially you just want to run around and get your shots off um, after his charge. But if you get him to run into this corner, nice and deep, he usually gets stuck. But he seems to be smarter today. But we'll get him down right there. And just like that, we've used three bows and two shots from this bow. So, I mean, it's very conceivable that you can do this with three bows as well. And now we ha essentially have these here that we'll, we'll grab. And we'll definitely go with the red bottle cap. Well, I mean, you want all of this stuff. You don't want to leave any of that stuff behind. And we'll replace this with the gear because I have lots of gears. And we'll go over and we'll check out what's in this chest here. And this is where you will learn your ranger helmet and how to make gold. Now I have done this many times before so it's not anything new for my guy. We'll take that. Uh, got lots of lead but I definitely want to take the gunpowder. I'll change that out for the bolts and the watch. Uh, I think we'll leave the watch behind. So, so that's it guys. That's how you essentially clear the entire derelict factory with uh, four bows or less. So thanks for watching guys.